welcome back to the Yogi Starter Pack. So, I got my iPad. I actually have two iPads now. You feel me? Well, I have the third one. This is my old one. iPad Mini and shit. Really outdated. You know, I got, I got, a, I got a lot of iPads now and shit, but this one don't work. So, what the fuck is meditation, right? What's meditation? This, this video is the philosophy of it. What, it, what is it? The goal of it? The consciousness dilemma. And we're going to talk about the mind's lack of ability to focus on nothing. So first, what the freak even is meditation? So meditation is a super duper broad term. It's a very vast and general term that pretty much involves a group of practices, exercises, techniques that all help you to control your mind and stop the unwanted mental vibrations that being the thoughts and emotions that may be with inside your mind causing you problems so it's like you could be visualizing chanting doing fucking like hand mudras and shit like that or none of those things and technically all those would be considered meditation because if you're if you're focusing the mind intentionally they call that meditation and shit and the final stage of meditation is when you focus on nothing so what is the goal of meditation the goal of meditation is to achieve full control over the mind and to be able to gain the ability to focus on oneself that being nothing that being the source once one has done this they will be able to concentrate and focus the mind at will whether it be on a goal whether it be on nothing whatever the freak so with that being said let's talk about the consciousness dilemma yo no no way i just said whatever the freak like i'm not trying to curse like i don't know damn what i'm gonna curse all right anyway human beings right are able to achieve consciousness we're able to become aware of the fact that holy shit we're actually alive we can think and we have an identity and stuff like that we could actually be aware of that shit you feel me you know in like we kind of always are aware of that shit, but not really. Like, we don't truly realize the fact that, holy shit, like, we are actually alive. Which means that if we're like, holy shit, we're actually alive, right? What is the thing saying we're actually alive? And why is it so surprised to be alive and shit like that, you feel me? Because that's what the fuck we are. Not the, not the, we're not the aliveness. We're the thing that had became alive. So what the fuck is that thing, you feel me? We're not always aware of that. That's the thing I'm talking about, you know? Like, we may be like, yeah, I'm a human, I'm acting, I'm doing all this shit, I'm alive right now. Blah, blah, blah. But we're not actually aware of, like, holy shit, like, nigga, like, I'm alive. And we're not aware of why the fuck that's so profound. Like, why is it so, pro why is it so profound to be alive? Why is that so crazy? Find that out, you feel me? Meditation will help with that shit. All right? So, anyway, yeah. As humans, we're only partially conscious, you know, we do a lot of shit subconsciously, we forget a lot of things and tend to lose sight of who slash what we are. Example of this shit. If you misplace something, you are acting unaware and I misplace shit. So I be I be I don't always be fully aware. That's 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 facts. Literally, if you misplace something, you forget where it's at. You forgot because you weren't being fully aware, therefore you can't remember that shit. Literally. Like that's why. Also, if you've ever been driving somewhere or walking somewhere or biking somewhere and you just got to your destination fast as shit, you're like, damn, I don't even I don't even remember like walking like I don't remember walking, I don't remember driving, I don't remember even doing that shit that fast. You feel me? You was probably being unaware, you know. There's a lot of shit that makes that shows that we're being unaware. Petty emotions like sadness, anger, all that bullshit, the shit that we all experience, that is a sign of us being unaware. Because if we were truly aware of what we actually are, we would not be feeling them. We would not choose to feel those things, and that's an actual fact. You feel me? And anyone who disagrees with that just hasn't touched the true self yet. Simple as that. And we don't gotta just pressure them like, no, you're wrong. It's just, you know, we, we all come to that shit. But let's be real. At nighttime, when we sleep and shit like that, and get that good ass sleep, we don't give a fuck about shit. We don't. No matter what the fuck happened inside of our day. We just sleep. Oh, I, I, I don't give a fuck anymore. Then we wake the fuck up. Like, oh my God, I give a fuck. And it's like, just just don't give a fuck, you know? But there's more to that shit. I can't say don't give a fuck, you know? But okay, back to this shit. The mind's lack of ability to focus on nothing. Oh, I want to say this real quick. Meditation helps to stop that whole little falling unconscious shit, you know? When you practice meditation, you gain more natural focus. 
and intentional focus. Therefore, if you're more naturally focused, you will you will fall unaware way less. If you can intentionally focus more, then you could also be like, damn, I'm losing focus. Mm, more intentional focus. I'm focused now. You'll be like, oh, I focus. Mm. You feel me? Most things are just like, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, oh, never focus. The natural focus part is like this. Oh, mm, 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 intentional focus. Mm. Yeah, bitch, I got you. You feel me? All right. So, let's talk about the mind's lack of ability to focus on nothing. Because if we could focus on nothing just like that, we would gain way more control over our mind and our body. Because if you become aware of yourselves, if you become aware of yourself and aware of your own existence, you feel me? And aware of the fact that you are in the fact and aware of the fact that you are this awareness that's operating in this body and stuff like that. You feel me? When you become aware of that shit, you gain more control over the thoughts, emotions, actions, all that other shit. You feel me? But sadly, the mind always just needs some bullshit to focus on and shit like that. You feel me? Like focusing on your own existence involves focusing on nothing because what you are is hidden. What you are is transcendental. It's not an object that the mind can just focus on. That's not what it is. Therefore, your mind, when it tries to focus on nothing, is like, damn, what the fuck? What the fuck do I do? And it sends all these thoughts, emotions, possibly images and shit like that. And it's like, goddamn, what the fuck? So it's like, yeah, when you're doing some shit, working on something, watching some shit, your mind is entertained. It's doing some shit. When you're trying to chill and stuff like that, just alone and shit like that, now all your negative thoughts and emotions start popping up and shit like that, you feel me? Because actually, um, you don't have, they don't have to be negative. They don't. It's just that a lot of people, they do tend to be negative or, you know, stuff like that because people t uh, tend to avoid their negative shit. Anyway, there's actually a myth about a spirit who's going to eat a man if the man does not give the spirit a task to do. So... This myth was symbolic to your mind and shows how your mind can devour you realistically, your intellect in this sense, you know. It shows how the thoughts and emotions of your mind can devour you when your mind's not focused doing anything. When you're not using your mind, it could possibly devour you and stuff like that. Now, there is a solution inside the myth, and the solution inside the myth was symbolic to meditation, using chants, all that other bullshit. I may be able to find the myth on YouTube because I found it inside the book, but I also saw it on YouTube before. On YouTube, it was a bit different, but it's the same concept. So I'll try to find that. If I can, it'll be, it'll be in the description box down below. Now, well, all of that being said, right? When you can focus on nothing and shit like that, you feel me? You'll start the mental... You'll, when, you can fo when you can focus on nothing and stuff like that, right? You'll stop the mental vibrations of the mind. That being the spirit that's going to kill you, you'll stop that shit and then you'll be fine. So that's pretty much it for this video. Meditation is just a group of practices to help you control your mind. The goal of it is to control your mind and to focus on nothing at will, to focus on yourself at will. And yeah, human beings tend to not be fully conscious. If you meditate, you'll achieve full consciousness because now you won't falter in your awareness. Instead of going like, hmm, hmm, you'll be more like, hmm, hmm. Eventually, you'll get to, hmm, and then you'll be never falling unconscious and bullshit like that. Unless you want to fall unconscious on purpose, you know? But it won't be out of your own control. If you choose to fall unconscious on purpose, you're, you're falling unconscious consciously. That's not a problem. It's a problem when you fall unconscious unconsciously. That's when it becomes a bit of a problem. But that's it for this video. Catch you inside the next one. Peace.